Hi ladies and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through um, using an eyeshadow palette. So you've bought it in a kit or you've received it somehow or it interested you or didn't interest you because there were too many colours and you thought I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I'm going to take you through a palette and show you what you can do with the colours. And this is the and this is the palette I'm going to be using. I've put the foundation down and I've used that buffing technique again. Uh, in the peaches and cream video you will see the buffing that I was talking about. So uh, this time the foundation I put on with a brush as opposed to my fingers. I topped it with the Golden Sunrise um, Silk and Veil Finishing Powder and with the large powder brush and dusting it off and then I topped it with the Northern Lights buffing it in with the foundation brush. I think it gives a really nice soft finish. I've never tried that before so I'm really quite thrilled with that. Thank you to uh, Lisa. <laughs> so I've put one brow in. I'm going to show you how to do the other brow using the brow kit. This particular product that I made is based around um, the right amount of pigment and consistency. You get a brow but you don't get this fake looking brow so if you can see it is quite a natural looking brow and this is what I started off with. Now to create this look you simply take a double ended brow brush with the slanted tip dip into this wax and create the shape first so going under the brow and over the brow to create the shape. So I'm trying to show you without turning my head <laughs> which is a bit tricky. So if you can see I've gone over the top and underneath. I'll fill in a bit at the front. This is all with the wax. Now taking the lighter of the two shades I'm going to fill the brow in. And then give it a light comb. And once you've done that it just all blends together and looks really quite natural. The blush I've used today, I've used a stronger blush. I've used the um, Wild Berries and Cream and I've used both. I've layered the cream and the powder. Reason I did that was because I'm using really, really strong colours. Normally I'm using the um, Strawberries and Cream palette for the blush but today because I'm using these very very strong colours I need a stronger blush and I'm going to use a really strong lipstick as well. Alright so firstly looking at the palette obviously the lightest shade is your highlighter. So we'll, these unfortunately do have a quite a bit of reflect in it so I hope it doesn't make it too crepey but I'm going to start with that highlighter. I'll pop that under the brow on both sides. I'm then going to take this shade, pop that all over the lid up to the highlighter. I'm doing this all with the fluff brush because it's just nice and gentle and it doesn't give too heavy a coverage. It's just that wash of colour. Okay. Now I'm going to take the next shade and I'm going to pop that in and out of the crease. So in the crease and then blending it up into and around this corner as well but blending it up into the highlighter. I 
So what we're doing is building intensity and colour. So taking the lightest shade over the whole lid or, or the brow, the next colour on the actual movable lid and the next shade up again into the crease and out of the crease. Now I'm going to take the lighter of the two purpley colours. I'm going to pop that lighter one at the outer edge and blending in. So taking the pencil brush now, I'm going to take that final shade, that deepest plum, I'm going to put that under and onto the lash line. Using my finger, I'm going to stop that fallout and keep that tighter up under the, the lash line. Now I notice there's a lot of ladies who are still using the classic coal pencil in the waterline. I'd like to suggest perhaps you, you try softening it a little bit and using it under the lashes as opposed to in there. Or, or and or using a deeper shade of shadow under the eye it's less harsh it's a little bit more softening on the eye and it still gives a good um, expression to the eye and using a cake liner as opposed to the liquid liner because it's a little bit softer again under the lashes try not to be putting it in the actual waterline I know it's something that we did all through the 70s 80s 90s whatever um, but it is just a little bit too harsh for the age group. <laughs> Doable, but if you give it a try, doing it another way, I think you might find you get a nicer, softer, less aging look, I think. Okay, let's keep going. So on the top, you can take that further in if you wish, like you could go in here, further in, or you can keep it just out here. Try and blend all this together so we haven't got a carnival of colours going on. Taking that fluff brush, we'll do a bit of blending here, sort of blend all this together. I've got a little bit of fallout happening here. Tuck that in. And blend it over. Keep that nice line between end of eye and end of brow. Don't be coming out past there. So if you need to use your finger as a guide, do so. And do your clean up with your foundation brush just to make sure. Okay. Right, so we have now used every single color in that palette easy. Eyeliner, I'm going to stick with the black cake eyeliner. Don't forget to flick off at the end in an upward stroke. Keep that illusion of the upward eye. And 
and sometimes it helps to stretch the skin. Now, instead of your coal in the eye, we've got the dark shadow, and we just put a little bit of the cake eyeliner under. So I've still got a very defined eye but it's not as strong and heavy. Sing in my normal song. Two coats of mascara, curl the lashes. So in keeping with that shade of eyeshadow and cheek, I'm going to use Romance Me. It's a beautiful cerise shade. So again, blot, powder, redo. Crisp up our edges with the lip brush. And once more, we need to blend those cheeks, lips and eyes together. So this is a little bit pasty, particularly under this light. So I'm going to add a little bit more cheek. I'm going to use a bronze sheer colour lip gloss just over the top to give it a little bit of zing <laughs> and um, if you'll notice this eyeshadow is quite um, metallic-y so this will sort of bring it all together again on the hand not straight from the tube using the lip brush staying away from the edges and just keeping it to the center so we don't make the lipstick bleed so we've managed to use that whole palette i've introduced you to a new color romance me We've topped it with the touch of bronze lip gloss. And oh, I think that looks quite nice. <laughs> if there's anything I can help you with, please feel free to contact me at my website at www.cougarcosmetics.com.au or .com, both will take you there. Fill out the contact form and we can get in touch with each other and we can sort out what it is you need to know about your makeup. If you have any queries also about the Cougar Cosmetics range, by all means, please either leave a comment or uh, join me on my Facebook page and you can leave comments or messages there to me as well. Also feel free to join the Cougar Cosmetics Women's Forum. It's a support group that I've set up for women to help each other. It's not about me or my brand, it is about the ladies on the site, so to join that simply search for Cougar Cosmetics Women's Forum on Facebook, send a request to join and I shall approve it for you and you can join the lovely ladies who are already there and interact. And we are actually getting a group together in Brisbane in the next couple of weeks to have a coffee together. So if you are in Brisbane, uh, by all means, uh, contact us and we'll, we'd love to have you come along. Thanks for joining me ladies and I'll catch you again soon. Bye now.